You can now use Face ID with a mask on for iPhone just like this. You can see here that we're locked now with a mask on and I'll look at it and you can see we are now unlocked. This also works with bigger face coverings such as bigger masks, bandanas and similar. Use this new feature to unlock your iPhone, log into different apps as well as make payments via Apple Pay all while wearing a mask no matter how much it covers your face. And I'll show you just how much you can cover your face later on to use Apple Face ID. This is now a native feature on iPhone iOS 15.4, but you'll need to enable it first and I'll show you how in this video. First of all, you'll need to make sure you've updated your iPhone to at least iOS 15.4. Check this by going to Settings, General, About, then confirming your software version. If you need to update, just go back to the Software Update section. I recommend auto updates here anyway. Watch this video on how to install the 15.4 early release. Okay, so you've got 15.4 installed now. Next, head to settings and scroll down to face ID and passcode and enter your passcode here. This is where the menu has changed. You can still select which of these things will be unlocked via face ID, but lower down you can see the option to enable face ID with a mask. So just go ahead and turn that on here. The next screen that pops up presents you with some info and warnings with using Face ID with a mask. But in general though, the disclaimer is that obviously with half of your face covered, it means that Apple's Face ID is only scanning your eyes and the area around your eyes, so perhaps this means it is a little less secure. However, I'm sure Apple have gone through huge testing on this to make sure it is still super secure, so I'm comfortable with it. Once set up, perhaps you'd like to go back to this menu to make it so that Wallet and Apple Pay still needs a passcode for that peace of mind. But I'll just re-enable that here for myself. Back on this menu, click Use Face ID with a mask to rescan your face for Face ID. For this step of the process, you don't actually need to wear a mask for this particular scan. Okay, so we've all done this before, so just put the phone in the right place. and do the thing with the thing. And there we go. And it actually only needs one scan for this process. Hit done. And there we go, we're set up. I'll test this in a minute, but a quick note here. If you don't like the idea of the lowered security of Face ID with a mask, for those of you that wear an Apple Watch, there is a legitimate workaround. Scroll down to unlock with Apple Watch. Now with this feature enabled, it means that if you're wearing your unlocked Apple Watch, and you were wearing a mask, iPhone will unlock using just a partial facial scan. Righto, if you wear glasses, there's also a new section here where you can teach iPhone to better recognize you while wearing a mask and glasses, that is spectacles. So note, this doesn't work for sunglasses. So I'll skip this step here. Now let's test out the face ID with mask feature enabled using a couple of different masks, ranging from the standard surgical mask to a larger face covering, which you'll see. Alrighty, let's try a face ID with a mask with a surgical mask and bang, that's unlocked. Okay, now let's try it with a full face covering like I'm gonna rub a bank or something. Bang, unlocked, nice. Okay, now that you've got your face ID with mask sorted out, if you haven't already got Apple Pay set up on your iPhone or Apple Watch, here's how you do that, both with and without an Apple Watch and with and without a mask. I'll see you there.